ladies and gents, welcome back. I am your host, Sinistrain01, and we have got sequence number three for Assassin's Creed 2. Hopefully you guys enjoy. First memory up is called Roadside Assistance. We need to escort Maria and Claudia to the Villa Auditore in Monteregione. All right, this way. And this is definitely what I would consider to be one of the, the coolest parts in the game. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for... I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here. Use this! Kill them! Kill them all! I guess nobody wants to mess with me, huh? So for some reason I cannot get the um, the counters to actually work. I don't know necessarily why, but it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's a glitch. But you can still take them out pretty easily. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Nipote. Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Yeah, so again, not sure why uh, it wouldn't allow me to... Maybe you guys know in the comments why you couldn't counter during that section. Could be just a glitch in the game. A glitch in the, in the Matrix. But here we are, moving on. And our next memory up. And take a look at this location, which we're going to be calling home for the remainder of the game. Next memory up is Casa Dolce Casa. Explore the Villa Artitore with Mario. So, tell me everything. They ex Executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monteriggioni. I thought Monteriggioni was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. 
Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it. You'll see that we have another glyph, and we'll definitely pick it up, I think, during this episode. Why not? I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me combini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. All right, so once we're done with this, we will go back and do the, the glyph. I'm sure I have just what you need. So first thing up, uh, we need to get some small weapons, buy a dagger. And get some armor. Here you go, sir. Mention me to your amici. Press RB to access your weapon wheel. You just gotta hold it down as well, and then you can go around to all the different weapons that you have. Come, come, don't be shy. We need to buy medicine. This definitely comes in handy as it allows us to automatically gain health if we start getting really, really low, so. I've done what I could, but perhaps you should avoid the deeds that brought you here. I've traditional remedies and the wisdom of the Arabies. <laughs> Wellness awaits. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check out that new glyph. And since you guys wanted it, we'll go around and grab as many as we can. And here we are. vast web of connections and interconnections is it all ruled by chance or is it these are some of my favorite puzzles so obviously this is a picture of Queen Elizabeth and you can start from the outside you just need to make the, pic or the, the picture act actually kind of correct. And it's pretty easy to do. Same thing again. Start from the outside, and you can see where the top is. If it's just one portrait, you know that that's always going to be the center. Sometimes you might have two people inside, so if that is the case, 
then you'll notice that uh, the center would not be the, the one of the guy's heads. So other than that, it's really the only change. So in this one, if you have problems and you're not sure exactly where the top necessarily is, you can start getting a picture together, right? So you can tell that that's going to be the top. And that'll tell you that that is... You just match them up. Fairly easy to figure out. And once you get it, you're not going to have any problems. And again, you open up all of... The truth videos. As you can see. Lots more of them to discover. And even though we are going to be coming back here again in just a second, we are going to go ahead and grab this viewpoint. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimal. Next memory up is practice makes perfect. Learn how to fight with Mario. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. <sighs> no use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before! Your father was a paper pusher! Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars... Greeks of fantasy... Like something from an old party covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figure you have the Codex page in the as well. Codex? You can't eat me! Never want to use your taunt when you're in the middle of a fight, let's be honest. <laughs> you're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. 
merely pushed underground, where they continue their nefarious work. <laughs> So see, taunting during the middle of fighting can sometimes reset your animations, and you don't want to really do that, so I wouldn't recommend it. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nepote... I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine! Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna! Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. So it's kind of a little weird that uh, the fight took about five minutes, but I guess many, many days have passed because you saw the weather kept changing, right? Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that... Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Yeah, this guy definitely needs to die. Nick, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. I think what where we need to go is actually Yeah. Got to go to the second floor it looks like. Although it does say it's right here on the first floor. I think it's on the second. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. And that's why that's what gave you the the determination to say pick up those fetch, you know, fetch all of the whatever you call them, feathers and stuff like that, so. It gave you good motivation to actually do it, a purpose. Whereas in the first game, there is really no reason. It was just to extend the life of the game. So we're going to head outside and head to our next mission, which we have a lot of cool things that we're going to be doing in this. 
And then this is when you get to really see the openness of the game itself as well. And which they definitely uh, made even better in the next game, Brotherhood. I just love how so much more that the environments look a lot more colorful than they uh, did in the previous versions of the game. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Next up is What Goes Around. Help Mario and his men assassinate Vieri de Pazzi. Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack Alright, so we're gonna get out our throwing knives. This is another little city. And I love to loot, because you never know, you need to get as much money as you can, so it doesn't hurt. You can see that he's a little far away. Distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? I'll signal again soldiers. when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. And what? Unbelievable prices I have for you, stimati clienti. You will say I am quite pazzo. We pay the price. Oh. What a name! Stay here. Must be oui. to see a Let's do it. Uh, 
You gotta love how you can't... It won't even let you, uh... Jump on them. We don't have that assassination, I guess, yet. So, let's just, uh... Let's just take out actually how many... Let's see, which buttons is it? We still got five left. Alright, go. And let's get into the fray. I don't know why it's... Not let me go into a attack. There we go. I don't know what is going on. That's the weirdest thing. It's like it's just not let me. There we go. Finally. That was like really weird. But you just got to remember that these older games are just uh, a little bit harder to really, really manage. They've definitely improved on these systems in the later releases, uh, for sure. But you can see that we got a little bit of a... Bounty. Not that it matters or anything like that, but... Just to show you, let's pick up this too. This really doesn't matter in the, the current time, but at least you can see how the system works. We're going to go ahead and grab this viewpoint. You don't have to do this during these missions, obviously. It's not essential. But we are going to go around and grab viewpoints, especially in between missions. And we are going to be doing all of the crypts to get the best armor in the game. And I'll probably end up having specific videos for those. To show you how to complete each one. One of the things I liked about this game is the fact that you can do main missions and you can do other things while those main missions are going on. You don't always have to stick to doing one thing at a time and then for someone with ADD, well, that's like a blessing in disguise. Very fluid and seamless to get up here, as you can see. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Shh, my friend. See, this is what I'm talking about, like, we will not go into combat. There we go. Ah, Nipok, there you are. It seems my plan is with something of a fan. Yeri's men ambushed us, and now we've got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See that justice is done. All right, so we got a new mission. Sir, you're no 
And you can see on this specific building, there's another one of these. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we'll be back here to do these later as well. Yeah, and there it is actually, right there. But it's the adventurer in me. We can't get up there just yet. We have to figure uh, another way. So I, I would think you can jump. Nope. <laughs> Now, one thing I will say that's limited is you can't look completely straight up. See how it's, like, kind of weird that way? But, yes, we will be here a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and grab it now just so to show you some varied gameplay. At least I grabbed it. There we go. Power doesn't die. It's passed on. All right, so these are the ones where you have to find a specific artifact. And you look for what is, obviously, right there. can just barely see it right there. Now some of these can actually be really confusing to see. When you only see out of one eye it can uh, take a little bit longer, but right there it is. There you go. But yes, we will be back here again because there's a section that's later on in the game where we'll do a crypt and we'll come back over to this area as well. So there's where we need to go, but actually where we need to go is where I'm at right now. So you do have to go all the way back just to go back. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo. Your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Oh, we're going back to the same place we just were. So the game really wants you to go through those three people. Jacob. 
Generally. That's why taunting I don't recommend during the middle of fighting. Let's but it can make them hit you faster. And that's always a plus because sometimes they can take a while before they even want to hit you. And it's always good to loot bodies as much as you can to pick up extra items and money. So you can't grab him, you can only really just counter him, I guess. He's really an easy target to take out. You just gotta learn the timing of when... In Brotherhood, they added a um, an ability to actually see the moment you need to counter. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! I have voted a fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. My bad. I was thinking that the sequence was over, but it is not. So why don't we take a look at our inventory here. Feathers, all that stuff. I'm trying to locate. Maybe it's in the database. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we own, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money land and title in exchange for my collaboration and so this is how i came to betray my closest friend however unspeakable the act it seemed necessary at the time and even now looking back i see no other way it looks like that's all we have i don't see it must have been the letter Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him as you put it beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention, 
these outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were he to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. All right, so we'll move on with the next one. It kind of ended its structure there. Uh, I know I've played it many times, but it's been a while since I've uh, went through the earlier memories. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, Uncle. Alright, so we are back with another memory. This is called A Change of Plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages hidden there. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes. And he will kill you, too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. I actually already did, so... But, we'll go through the motions. Mr. Francesco, I have... Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. All right, reach the villa's viewpoint. Which you can pretty much do from over here. Let's see. I think those are grabbable.
So we have a few pages that we need to collect. And once you get close enough, you'll find them. Uh, one of them is outside of the city. And I know I remember that, so... Don't ask me why they're just hidden in back alleyways. I bet you this one took actually quite a bit of time for people to find where it was. Come, friends! I've fresh got legion. Grab your horse. I think it's in one of these little small villages out here. There it is. I'm pretty sure we're coming to a close on this sequence. Now, after this is when the real, real game kind of opens up where we're going to be. There you go. Memory Sweet. sequence three complete. Fortunately, we can't enter yet with horses, but we will in the next game. And so just to make sure that we are completely done with this sequence. Yep. So, it looks like we are completely done with memory sequence number three. And we will be moving on to sequence number four. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, anything I can do to make these videos better for you, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to implement it. Thanks for watching, guys, and of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.